This is it. It's showtime. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, welcome back to Dre Anywhere the Sports, where I bring you the latest breaking news and major sports stories concerning my favorite teams, the Los Angeles Lakers, Dallas Cowboys, Barcelona Football Club, Chelsea Football Club, Champions of Europe, London is Blue, my home team, Hub of You, and of course, Jamaica's National senior teams the reggae boys and reggae girls being that i'm jamaican of course please remember to like share and subscribe to the channel if you haven't clicked that like button make sure you do so on every video big up and welcome back welcome back welcome back welcome back reggae boys fans dre anywhere the sports fans and all those football fans who tune in every now and then to check out my content Thanks for tuning in and thanks for taking time out of your day to stop by and see what's going on over here. So today, I'm going to be touching on the schedule, the upcoming schedule for the men's senior team, the Jamaica men's senior team, a.k.a. the Reggae Boys. So despite the recent cancellation by Bosch County, Bosch County, whatever you want to pronounce it, um, on the 27th of May, there was a friendly international between the senior team and Bosch County over there in Spain. That has been cancelled. And now the next game will, of course, be the friendly international on the 25th versus Catalonia. So, with that said, that friendly international is said to be used to look at new incoming players and talent overseas however because of the importance of that friend international now <coughs> sorry as it will serve as the friend international before the nation's league so that's the last friendly international before the nation's league tournament the very important nation's league tournament so with that said i expect there's supposed to be a core set of players from the previous squad that Paul Hall selected, added with a handful or less than five players that are new players that should be included in going forward in the Nations League tournament for the Reggae Boys. There's also players from Jamaican Premier League along with MLS and along with any such player that Paul Hall may seem fit in his system from the USL which I doubt there's any right now because of the lack of CDM in the team or quality CDM in the team I think the only two players surprisingly that we may see come back into the team despite his age I see Speedy Williams and also a player that hasn't featured in the national team in a while. For this Catalonia game, I expect to see Kevon Lambert name being mentioned. Because of the lack of players at the CDM position. That's the disruptor in the middle of the park. I expect to see Lambert and Speedy be the two names that's competing for that position. And now people, remember... The Catalonia game is no longer serving as just an invitational game because it will look at players going into the Nations League. And this game is on the 25th, the 25th of May. That's Jamaica, senior team, the Reggae Boys versus Catalonia. I have another video which I had covered this game already. Now I want to look also at the full schedule of games for the reggae boys so catalonia on the 25th then they go right into the nation's league on the fourth which they play away to suriname then on the seventh they return home to the state to the office or sabina park i'm not sure which but we know the importance of this game here and uh, we'll see which venue they choose to play the game at 
but on the 7th, they will play the return game versus Suriname at home in Jamaica. Then between that, on the 11th, they play a friendly international, FIFA-friendly international, official FIFA-friendly international versus Uruguay. After which, that's on the 11th. Then on the 14th, they're going to play the next Nation League team, who is Mexico. They're going to play them at home in Jamaica also. That's on the 14th. And then there's a break after that. So... The games again, 25th Catalonia, 4th Suriname away, 7th Suriname at home, 11th Uruguay Friendly International, and then on the 14th Mexico at home, Nations League qualifier, Nations League group game. There it is. So that's a very hectic schedule for the reggae boys so we'll see how they get this done and get this taken care of here because a very important stretch there for the reggae boys and the country's football in a whole big up everybody again now please remember to like share and subscribe to dre anywhere the sports tell a friend tell a friend to tell a friend or a family member about Dre Any Weather Sports and like, share, subscribe. Appreciate all those who have done so. Oh, those who haven't done so yet, just take a time out. It's free. Go ahead, hit the like button, share, subscribe, drop a comment or a thumbs up. Also, I want to take time out to give um, Talawa TV a big shout out there over there in the UK. Big up Crystal. Um, doing great coverage over there for the reggae girls and on behalf of the reggae girls too. Number one trendsetter when it comes to that coverage there. Um, she also um, educates us on happenings concerning players that play in the UK and around the world too. Great stuff over there on Talawa TV. So give her a check out people and give her a subscribe too. I like her videos. I also want to give a shout out to my fellow YouTubers, Coach's Desk. Big look, doing big things over there. Weekend Triple Treat, I'm part of the panelists. Also, Reggae Boys Commentary, Trendsetter, Simon Preston. Big up yourself, doing great things also for TVJ. Fourth Official, Rome. Big up yourself, my new fan. Long time, big up. Also, I Am Sure Sports. Manning's man, big, big Arsenal fan and supporter. Have a multiple programs over there covering all sports in and around Jamaican community. Now, also, another Arsenal man, military Guna. Big up yourself. Breaking news all the time concerning the reggae boys and Jamaica's football. Formula Sports, there in Jamaica also, covering football and sports in and around Jamaica. IMAX it, football, another one, big up yourself, JD, covering sports, English Premier League, local league, concerning and around the reggae boys, big up yourself, IMAX, Ryan LFC, big, big Liverpool fan and supporter over there in Canada, another Jamaican of course, big up yourself, always giving us interviews with reggae boys, and uh, new stories concerning around the Reggae Boys football program and team. Again, remember, like, share, subscribe. Bless up everyone. This is Dre from Dre Anywhere the Sports. Until next time, I'm out. Looking forward to it.